Hello, today I'm here with a new video and I am so excited for this video because I am doing my first collab since I have made my channel in English. I really love watching collabs and I really like to do them. So today I am doing a collab with one of my absolute favorite YouTube channels and it's Annette's Annette's Makeup Corner. I will of course leave her channel up here and also down in the description box. I love to watch her channel. She is almost the same age as me. I think she's one year older or are we the same age? I don't know but I really love her videos and she is doing so much good content. She is doing a lot of Free looks one palettes and different makeup tutorials or when she try things, all the same as me. And she's so good with makeup and she has her own way in some kind. She yeah. She's just amazing and she's growing so fast right now and it makes me so happy to see. And if you not have checked her out, you have to do it because you're missing out on a super good channel. And she lives in Las Vegas, and Las Vegas, what a Swedish pronunciation. She is living in Las Vegas. She's originally from Norway. So we are doing a collab today, and I am so happy for this. And we are doing a collab, and we are doing it about brands I really want to try. And I have wrote down 15 brands. There is so much more brands, but... I can't make a video like two hours long, so I chose 15 brands. And it's both high-end brands and it's indie brands. And yes, um, I'm going to mention the products I really want to try from this brand. Some brands I don't want to try at all, but I really want to try some of the things and that's what I'm going to talk about. So we can talk about we can start with maybe the most boring things, boring brand, uh, and that is House of Lashes. It's a lash brand I usually don't wear, falsies, but I really, really, really want to try their Iconic, because everybody looks so freaking good in them, but the lashes are pretty expensive if I... What I normally put out on lashes, put on lashes. So, and I don't know how much I'm going to use them. So I really want to try them, but I don't want to pay so much for a couple of falsies. But I really, really want to try them. Okay, and the next brand is Ilamaska, and that is an. I think it's one of the most expensive brands I know. If you don't think about like Dior and Chanel and stuff like that. La Masque is really pricey but I have seen so much good makeup from them. I'm mostly interested in their highlight and also um, foundation they have. They in the light spectrum, at least, I don't know how it's in the deeper spectrum of foundation, but in the light, they have super light foundations. I am, I really want to try some of the products, but they are so expensive. And here where I live, I can't try anything. And to put that much money on makeup that I don't know if I'm going to love, and I can't swatch them. <laughs> Yeah, but if I'm ever going past a Ilamesca counter, I think I'm going to swatch things like crazy. But that's a brand I really, really, really want to try and I have wanted to try it for a couple of years now. But it's too much money for things that I can't swatch. The next brand we can talk about is Yue. Yue. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yue. And it's because partly of Paulina Beauty's fault, she talk about their highlighters and I have heard lots of people talk about their highlighters and they look amazing and I really, really, really want to buy one of these. 
I'm not so interested in their like eyeshadows and stuff but in their highlighters and maybe if the highlighters are good I maybe want to try more but it's mostly UA's highlighters I want to try because they look amazing and I have heard so many people talk about them so I think next time I'm going to order from Beauty Bay I'm going to buy something because the things looks amazing and it seems like a very good brand and then I have one brand that is more of a skincare brand and that is Glossier they have makeup but I am not interested in their makeup I am interested in their skincare so many Swedish beauty bloggers have talked about Glossier the last couple of months uh, I think it was this summer maybe they opened uh, their Swedish web shop or was it the UK web shop I don't know but and the beauty world in Sweden like exploded with Glossier and I really want to try something I want to try their milk cleanser I don't know what it's called and serums and a lot of stuff from Glossier but I haven't bought anything yet but I have been this close to buy something but I haven't yet then we can talk about the brand that is Annette's fault and it's Stila I I have known about Stila for a long time and first they were cruelty free then they started selling China but now they are cruelty free again and as you know I only use cruelty free makeup and Annette she used to uh, use this glitter I don't know if it's both eyeshadows and uh, eyeliners and they look so freaking good every time she uses them I'm like I have to try Stila and I also want to try their eyeshadows but I never have bought anything and I don't know why but I really 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 want to try Stila and I really want to try their glitter eyeshadows I also want to try sugar pill sugar pill is I remember for like a couple of years ago oh, many years ago sugar pill was like the cool different makeup brand they have all these crazy colors all this rave is it called rave in English and um, makeup and it was like it was makeup for people that had the courage to stand out and I have been intrigued by sugar pills since this since this since then and I have never bought anything and I don't know why it's not hard to get a hold of sugar pill in Sweden but I have never tried anything from sugar pill and I want to try the lipstick I want to try the eyeshadows I want to buy some palettes and I have heard so good things about sugar pill and I haven't bought anything and I don't know why so I think sugar pill is one of the top things on my list of brands I want to try because I have wanted to try them for so long but for years I have thought that's not for me but now I like colors as you can see and yeah I have to buy something for sugar pill Another brand I don't know why I haven't tried more stuff but I want to and that is Milani. I have tried their eyebrow pomade and some lipsticks but I really want to try their blushes. So many people are talking about the blushes and has done it for years. When they came with their baked blush it was like that was everything everybody uses all the time and people still do and I have not hopped on the train and I don't know why because I like blushes and their blushes seems very versatile you can have little blush or much blush and they seem really really good their blushes and I don't know why I haven't tried them I have to do it but I think that this is the only thing I want to try from Milani. Maybe one of their eyeshadows, but mostly their blushes. And then a brand 
I am... It's almost like Sugar Pill and it's Suva Beauty. They also do these crazy colors. And I really, really like to try their... I think it's called Aqua Liners or Gel Liners. They have these liners in crazy colors. And people seem to love them. And I don't use eyeliner that much, but if I would, I think I would go for crazy colors, not like black or brown. And their product seems really, really good. I, a lot of people I follow uses their eyeliners. <sighs> Why didn't I look this up? They use them for like eyebrows and stuff, and I, it looks so good. I'm so intrigued. And some of their eyeshadows. But I, I haven't tried their liquid liners, aqua liners, and I don't know why they look so, so cool. Okay, now we only have four more brands, so we can start, start to end with Dose of Colors. Dose of Colors is a brand that I always thought was a super expensive brand. And it's not. And... I really want to try one of their liquid lipsticks because I have heard that their liquid lipsticks are really good and I have been so close to buy one of their liquid lipsticks from Beauty Bay but I changed my mind the last second but I really want to try their liquid lipsticks because people say they are really good and I love a good liquid lipstick so yeah I'm not so intrigued by their eyeshadows, but their lip products I am super into. And have been for like three years now, I think. But I've never bought them and I don't know why. And then we have Morphe. Um, sometimes it feels like I'm the only person who has not tried Morphe. I don't know if I want to buy like this big ass palette from Morphe. like. It seems like it's everything they do, but I really want to try their base products and also some of their brushes. A lot of people I follow love their brushes and yeah, I really want to try Morphe, but I haven't and I don't know why. All of these brands, I don't know why I haven't tried them because I have wanted to try them for a couple of years. And Morphe is one of these, and I would like to try their base products. I said it, I think. Like their blushes and stuff. Not maybe their eyeshadows, but the blushes and the brushes. Uh, and the highlighters. Yeah. Mostly their brushes, I think. Because people say they are really good, and uh, who doesn't want a good brush? Okay, now we only have two brands left and these are two indie brands and the first is Menagerie Cosmetics. I think they were called Makeup Monsters before. I don't know why they changed the name because I like Makeup Monster. Both the Feral eyeshadow palette and also the Dragon Child I think it's called. I really want to try them because people seem to love them and the color stories are fun and it it doesn't seem like palettes you can find at so many places and they are also the thing I love the most about Menagerie. They are giving back some of the profit or some of the... when you buy stuff they give it back to animal shelters and I'm all up for that. And I really want to try their eyeshadows. I just have to buy them. But it's the shipping and the taxes for have it here in Sweden that have stopped me from buying these because it's insane sometimes. I like pay more for the taxes and the shipping than for the products and I hate that and that's why I haven't bought anything but I really want to 
And the last brand in this long ass video is Certified. Certify. Uh, I want to try the Dynasty palette and the Tropical Thunder. First, I was not so excited to do it, but then I have seen so many videos and this seemed like really good palettes and I really, really, really want to try them. And that is a UK based brand, so no taxes for me. Oh, I really want to try them. I think that is maybe going to be one of my next buys. So that is a brand I really, really want to try because people have talking so good about them. The palettes look so good. And yeah, I like to support in the brands, so I really want to try Certify. And that was all the brands. It felt like a really long video and I'm going to end this now so you don't have to look at me like for half an hour as you usually have to do. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you Annette for wanting to do this collab with me. It has been so much fun and don't forget to check out Annette's channel. I have left it in the card and also down here and I will also link her video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, pre please press like, I have so hard time to say it. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to try some brands, please comment down below, it's always fun to talk about brands. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!